go if I was running late. I would try to go to one o'clock service. Right, right, right. As <laughs> much as you know, it's an hour long. I love it. I sit there with Nala for an hour, but it just wasn't right to me. Like if I go to a church and they're playing worldly music to uh, incorporate into real. not just like oh this is example, but I'm saying oh this is our intro music because we're talking about love. I don't want to go to church to hear I don't. love this, love that. Why not just get into the scripture? But because I came from Ridgely, it just always brings me back here because it's like yeah. this is right, yeah. but yet other people. And if it's somebody that doesn't know any better, that doesn't have the guidance like how we grew up, yeah. then they may really be stuck in that Absolutely. mindset because they don't have an example to tell them Absolutely. what's right from wrong. Because if they're going by society, say they they parents, my mother wasn't in the church, but my aunt was. Right, right, right. So say I didn't have my aunt to bring me to church every day. I could have been going with society like straight up, like oh, they don't take all that. Or yeah. oh, please, or oh, please, those people over there. Right. Absolutely. I, I so absolutely you do. Also have to consider that too. Some people. That's just like some people have good parents. Some people don't. That's some right. Some people know right. And they do, and they right. behave. Many of them, not all, because we know they're exceptions to the rule. But for the most part, so how you've been socialized kind of says something about it, and that takes us all the way back from where we began. Socialization is big, and now, I mean, I got two daughters, I have three sons, and society is telling them. You need to go and get him. You need to go to make him see you. Don't put on this. Lean in. Look like that. <laughs> right. You lean in first. You, you know what I mean? And you're telling my son, <laughs> you know, he, you know, keep your hands in your pocket, walk like, you know, like you're a chick magnet and believe it and then let her do all the work. Well, that's the not. The baby's going to be a chick That devil <laughs> is. I should talk about prophesy. You, you can see that? <laughs> it's, it's real. So, with that, with that thing, you don't even know what it means. Don't get like you chicken see, nuggets. You see what's on it, right? You're thinking chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken nugget man? Chicken nugget man. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. They make that then. Chicken, chicken nugget man. Yeah, I got that. I got that boy. Chicken nugget man. <laughs> so so we, we really need to, we need to think about this, but I want you to read it. I mean, serious, every day, just take a minute, meditate on it. What does this yeah. mean? And try to put it in your mind, like, what does this mean for me? Come here. Once you do that, once you do that, when we come back together, prayerfully you'll have some thoughts. That you can contribute like about the scriptures. If, if it leads you to go online and start looking up scriptures or look, looking up commentaries about it, read this. I'm serious. Every day, just take five or ten minutes just to read this and start considering your life. And let's see what the Lord. Let's see what the Lord comes out of this because this is what it is. Next week, and I know I told you the 19th I'm out. But we talking about being separate without being stuck up. Are we uh, having Bible study the week of uh, Thanksgiving? What's that Tuesday? Yeah, probably yeah. Tuesday the 26th. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. We will. We will. All right. So let's let's pray. Let's pray, guys. Let's pray. Start thinking and invite somebody. All right. Father, we give you praise and thanks for your goodness and your mercy. You have been so good to us, so kind. You are faithful to your word. And we pray, God, that you would just be pleased with the light that we shine for you. I pray, God, that you would forgive us for all sin, those things that we've done, said, or thought that do not please you because we do not want to be infected and inoculated with the foolishness of this world. Help us, oh God, to be Jesus, his light. God, we know that his hands should be ours, and his mind and his words should be ours. We thank you for the word that you've given us, and we pray, God, that you would help us to be separate but not stuck up. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Cover us until we meet again as the enemy is going to try to take this assignment out of us. He does not want the word to get hidden in our heart. I pray, Lord, that the word would penetrate. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. That it would go in and really divide, really discern what the thoughts and intents are really of our of our heart really are, and we give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, um, would you guys like rather be here or in the trailer? No, we're not doing that trailer. I'm gonna come. <laughs> okay, because it's scary. nice now. It is nice. No, it's scary. No, all right. They it's scary. They did it. it. I don't know if they redid it. No. They put some, a new door on it, new stuff, and it's bigger. And is it sad? Right. Oh, I don't know. I need to check it out. Oh, P.S. Yes. The um, young adult um, department is about to do some big things. Big, um, big, big. So, you know, yes. come on. What, something came out of that meeting on Saturday? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was when did those meet in? The um, youth department. Did you go there when you First Saturday of the month. No, she wasn't. She was just. Why is she? I said she was just. I said she was just.